How's it going, guys? I am Nick from the Weeb Lounge, and that is not a clickbait title. This game is actually dying. The player base is dwindling, and that is primarily because, well, some things have gotten stale, but there's a whole slew of issues with this game that I don't know if they can recover from. Let's start out with servers. Servers have been one of the biggest issues in this game, and I don't know what the deal is with them putting servers in weird locations or supposedly running them themselves out of their own headquarters or something. This is what I'm hearing. But typically, you know, games will rent something out of like a server farm in Chicago, Colorado, you know, out in California, Silicon Valley, down in Austin, over in New Jersey for some reason or another, whatever. But I don't know where these servers are actually located. All I know is that I'm near Chicago. It's almost center of this country. America, right? Why is my ping so high? By high, I mean, I'm usually floating around 35, 36. On a really, really good game, I'll float right around 30 or 31. Never goes below that. And this is the one and only first-person shooting game that I've ever played where pings are that high. I almost have a feeling it's not necessarily server location, but just... Not, and not even necessarily the netcode, but maybe something to do also with the engine that the game is running on. I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, a 34 ping, 35, whatever, it's not really supposedly that big of a deal. But in a fast-paced shooter like this that eventually wants to become an eSport, those pings got to come down. Call of Duty, I'm averaging 19, 20 ping. Not that big of a difference, but... That last little minute, millisecond, that last little packet that comes through could be important. You never know. <laughs> so I'm not sure where the servers are at, but they do need work. And one of the biggest issues is getting shot around corners, super bullets, all the stuff that makes us rage. Call of Duty does this something called packet splitting or whatever. That, that's, that causes a lot of rage and everything because it's like it has all this data. It can't update it in this little tick of the server, so it saves it, or it doesn't implement it until the next packet comes through, and the next packet that comes through includes a little bit extra, and then all of a sudden you fall over dead seemingly instant when actually you got hit nine times in a row and you just never reacted. I mean that sarcastically or whatever, because, yeah, on the person that shot you, they shot nine bullets legit in a row. On your screen, though, it all happened instantaneously. That's latency, that's bad server code. That's just how that plays out. Now, I don't know if X, X Division uses packet splitting. That's just kind of a vague example or whatever. And why am I looking at the floor over on this thing? Oh, that's because uh, Avatar Player Collision. For some reason, times it works in this game, sometimes it don't. It more often works with the players on my team and not the players on the opposite team. That's another issue that I forgot to mention. I don't like it when players just slide right through my avatar. It's... it's Whatever, it, it, it's dumb. But the servers need a lot of work, but here's the problem. I don't know if they can fix it ever. I legit don't. Maybe they can get the pings and latency down a little bit. Maybe they can actually, instead of hosting their own servers in their own you know, back office closet or wherever the heck it is that they got, that they actually use Amazon scalable services or something, or put you know a farm in Austin, Chicago, et cetera, et cetera, where you know, they're good. It helps. But the reason I don't think it's really going to get any better is because of that engine they're using. Mark Rubin came out and they were like, yeah, we're developing this game on an engine that was used for an MMORPG. And we kind of have to reverse engineer our own engine and make a whole bunch of extra custom code and learn to work with this engine that's not meant to work with a first person shooter, you dumbass. Why did you pick this uh, engine to work with? Why didn't you get Unreal 5? Why didn't you borrow something else that works actually really, really good? Oh, I know why Ubisoft wanted to save money. Comes down to money. It always comes down to money. Where the servers are at, the location, the tick rate, even the code that they use, it all comes down to that almighty dollar. Every single decision. And this game... Apparently, they didn't have any confidence in this game when they launched it and everything because they cut a lot of corners and we're suffering with it now. And we have no choice but to keep suffering with it unless they completely redesign the game on another engine. The engine they were using is meant more for efficiency, not speed. 
Meaning, you know, an MMORPG has a ridiculous amount of data usually going around. You know, think World of Warcraft, where you have hundreds of players in one location, all casting spells, doing emotes, riding their spectral white tiger into a burning fire or something, you know, because World of Warcraft players, you know, they'd be great as cleaners because they always love to stand in fire, right? You know what I'm getting at? Anyway... It's made more for efficiency. You have a ridiculous amount of data, and you need to get those data, that data to the players as quickly and efficiently as possible without losing any kind of bullshit, right? First-person shooter, though, a high-paced, combat-oriented, you know, we can't worry about efficiency too much. We need speed, pure, unadulterated, frickin' speed. And I couldn't hit that guy going around in the circle for the life of me. Be honest, guys, when I picked this footage and everything, I didn't do what all these other YouTube and content creators do and go through and find the absolute best matches in the world and I, I had went on a 50 kill streak or something. No, I went through, I grabbed some uh, some footage, whatever. I was like, eh, this will work. I have no idea if I suck or not in this thing. This is real wor world footage, okay? This isn't me cherry picking a damn thing. Just putting it out there. But that's the reason why I don't think, you know, they're going to be able to really fix the servers because we're using an engine that's not meant for it. Now, it's all code. It's possible that they come up with some kind of weird miracle, and I apparently like this corner. I keep tangent, get off the tangent. Apparently, they might be able to come up with some kind of code. It's all code, and they can do some kind of implemented fix and get that latency down, get the, the tick rate they can always buff the tick rate. That shouldn't be a problem or whatever, but make it more speedy, focused on speed rather than efficiency. Now, I don't know if I'm actually using the right technical gar jargon or whatever. I know I'm not, but that's the gist of it. They're using a wrong engine. There's a lot of stuff that they can or cannot do with this engine, and it was never, ever, ever meant for this type of game. If they're... You know, this game probably could have came out a long time ago if they developed it on you know, Unreal Engine 5 or something. Because if you think about it, this game, it's not terribly complicated. You know, there, there's indie studios that could probably pump something out just as good as this in the same amount of time or less than what Ubisoft pumped it out. But since they're messing around with this engine, you know what I'm getting at. They pick this engine because it saves money. If they used Unreal Engine or some other one, they would have had to pay a licensing fee or a percentage or something. They use the, their own engine that they created to save money. Pure and simple. They should have started something from scratch or used a well-known engine that will work well with this type of game. De la vie. All right, so what about abilities? Okay, there's a lot of abilities they put into the game that, you know, don't necessarily agree with see that revealed by sonar goggles that's really good timing because that's what just killed me okay i didn't time this or anything it just happened seriously it's organic okay the echelon suit is one of those things that i don't ever like seeing in any first person shooter ever i don't like seeing built-in wall hacks built-in aimbots i don't ever like seeing that as ultimate abilities where you see it for a very, very short time, once per round, once per match, I can kind of go with it or whatever, because it's an ultimate ability, right? It's supposed to do something outside of the norm. It's supposed to be overpowering. That's the whole point of the ultimate. But, you know, contacting boop, boop, Jean-Luc Picard or whatever, and calling down wall hacks or whatever every 25, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever they made it now or whatever. No, no. That is just absolutely ludicrous. Now, that those things should never be in a competitive shooter. They, they should have come up with some other kind of ability. or whatever. Now, if they scaled it back a little bit, which they already did in terms of time of, of exposure and how often they can do it, that's all well and good. But the problem is other people on your team still make use of it. So it just it'll go through ping and everybody's like, oh, there's a guy behind this wall. I was going to die a split second ago. But now that I know that this guy's sitting right on the other side of the wall, I win. Hooray. Screw that. I can live with it if they change it so that other players on the team cannot benefit from that or the ultimate or anything like that for Echelon. Let Echelon do their thing. It's fine. And the cloaking thing. I always hate any kind of invisibility, but the cloaking thing, they, I think they actually did right because, you know, one, you can still kind of see it if you're really, really paying attention. 
And two, if positional audio works, which I'll get to in a second, you can hear them coming and kind of figure out, okay, I hear the blah, 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 coming from over here or something, or maybe I should pay more attention. Oh, they showed up. It's still a surprise factor and everything, and it's still kind of useful, but I never use it because it's not useful to me. Anyway, whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and get into one of the bigger things, whatever, cheaters. All right? There's a lot of people out there that are like, I think it was BT or, you know, Blame Truth or maybe Nero from Nero Cinema. I can't remember which one, one stated, but they were like, oh, I played like 100 games or something, and I've only ever seen one cheater. You don't know what the hell you're looking for. You don't. Oh, by the way, Nero, your aim is a little too sticky. If you get my drift. And BT, stop using that AA-12. I mean, you know, there's other guns out there. You don't need to go pew pew with the shotgun all the time or whatever. Aim down the sights with something else. Like, do a thing. Like, your AA-12 foot, is, it, it kind of got old. Anyways. Cheaters are all over the place. On console, most commonly, Cronus or whatever. For whatever reason... It, give, it seems like it gives people super duper sticky aim. If you're ever playing and you notice somebody who happens to be using a controller and their aim is super, super sticky, I mean, it follows them around almost perfectly, okay? And when they change direction, that thing immediately goes with it, okay? There's like no delay. There's no escaping. That's probably a Cronus or something else more notorious in uh, work in there. Now, on PC, it's it's actually harder to tell if people are hacking on PC or not. I mean, you have the rage hackers or whatever, which, you know, they're floating in the air, walking through walls and killing everybody, with spinning around. A I'm not talking that kind of... Everybody knows that guy's you know, up to a little bit of something or whatever. Probably shrooms or something else, probably, too. Whatever. But your basic cheats are so humanized that unless you're really paying attention and know what you're talking about and you play on PC all the time and you have enough time in on the game to really know the difference, then you're just either talking out of your ass or you just don't know what you're talking about, period. Now, here's a little hint for you. If you ever see somebody who kind of, ha you have this feeling that they always know where you're at all the time. They're never surprised, okay? That's kind of iffy, right? Because, you know, the positional audio in this game is garbage. I'll come back to that. I said I was going to come back to it before. I'll come back to it again. But that's beside the point. If they seem to always know where you're at, they're never surprised. Well, that's a little bit of an issue, right? There's some players who have really, really good situational awareness. And when positional audio is really good in a game, it's going to be hard to scare anybody. So that's not necessarily like a 100% thing. It's like, oh, I never get to drop on him, and he knows where everybody's at. That's not necessarily a tell-all. What is, though, is when all their bullets always connect every single freaking time. And I'm not talking just headshots. I'm talking they aim down the sights, it goes, and it kind of locks onto the body. And then it spreads on the body. It'll go to the right shoulder, down to the chest, down to the belly button, back up to the chest, to the left shoulder. It scans the skeleton. Never leaves the body. Every shot always hits. But it moves around to make it look a little bit more human. It's really, really hard to tell, but a seasoned player, and I like to think I've played enough of these games ever since freaking Wolfenstein 3D, because yes, I'm old enough to uh, have owned an Atari 2600 when it was new. No, Wolfenstein was not on that. It was on PC much later, but I was just saying, I'm old, all right? I know my shit. That's what I'm saying. The so cheaters are actually all over in this game. No, no real different than Call of Duty. Probably more so in Call of Duty because... The X Defiant player base, as I believe it was Eight Thoughts, who I'm sorry comes across as a complete tard all the time. <sighs> you know, so he, sometimes he makes some awfully good points and then he follows it up just by being a complete idiot. It's not my flavor, is what it is. He's got his audience. I'm not one of them. But I still watch some of his videos or whatever because he does make a good point once in a while. And that was with the player base dwindling. He proved it. He made a recent video, I'll let you guys hunt that down or whatever, very recent, where he basically just went through and is like, is, you know, X Defiant top 10 on PlayStation 5? Nope. On Xbox? Nope. On PC? Probably not, but we don't have any metrics to tell. 
if the metrics were really good, he did mention this too, and it is very much true. If the metrics were very good, they would be flaunting, flaunting, flaunting. What they'd be showing everybody all these statistics would be like, hey, our, this is doing good here, doing good there, doing good there. You never hear that from them. And when you don't hear it from them, then generally it's not terribly impressive. Doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but it's definitely not impressive. And you can kind of tell with this game, it's just going boo do 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 do. Another way to tell that is whoever you're, match, uh, you're matchmaking with. If you are seeing a lot of the same people more and more and more and more often, that's not, you know, matchmaking algorithm or whatever saying here, 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 here. It's like, oh, you played with this guy a lot, so we'll, we'll keep you playing with him. No, it's not that. No SBMM, remember? At least that bit's true as far as I can tell. But it's because there's less and less players, so it doesn't have much of a choice, but you put you in the lobby with the same guys all the time. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing because we don't really want lobbies to disband anyways. But right now, because lobbies do disband, there's a way to tell. Okay. Now, I've gone off about, about a lot of stuff, and you know, every single one of these issues is an issue, a major issue, okay? The last thing I'm going to talk about is positional audio. Positional audio is in this game is... God awful. Okay, I, I thought Call of Duty was bad. All right, I've had like crazy headsets. I got my Steel Series, like Nova Seven Pros, whatever the heck these things are. These are supposed to be like super king of whatever in terms of positional audio. And in X Defiant, maybe once every other game, I am able to actually pinpoint where someone's at. There's times where you know I can have a whole team river dancing on my face and i won't hear a single footstep i don't understand other other times like through two walls or whatever i hear somebody in echelon with their cloak thing on blah, 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 like two walls over it's like oh there's somebody come over there and then it takes me five minutes to run over there and only find out they died this audio in this game is just absolutely atrocious i don't know what the issue is i can't tell them or suggest to them how to fix it or whatever but Maybe if they used the Unreal Engine like they should have in the beginning, it wouldn't be much of an issue. But instead they had to use an MMORPG engine, which doesn't really have any kind of emphasis whatsoever on positional audio because in those type of games, it's generally a non-issue. They're not going to be able to get much stuff done. Oh, I accidentally hit a button and put it on... Uh, my mascot character, Ryoko Nekotara. Yes, I used AI art to make it or whatever. I had to animate it and do all this weird stuff or whatever, but don't hold it against me. She's also in the top left corner there. I made another image of her. Uh, tone cat girl with the gun. Can't go wrong, right? Whatever. Everyone's got their own taste. Don't shame me. <laughs> That's one channel I'll never show up on is Call of Shame. That's for sure. But... Uh, if I ever get to the point in life where I find myself having to cheat, then it's time to just destroy the computer, any console I have, and just never play games again because, no. Just don't. Ever. Well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Once again, I'm Nick with the Weeb Lounge, and, you know, unfortunately, the folks over at Ubisoft there, Mark Rubin, they got an awful lot of work to do, and I do not believe that they are going to be able to successfully do all this work. It's a lot to ask. They started off with the wrong engine. They r seemingly rushed the product. When it came out, it felt pretty good and everything, but there's just way too much working against this game on the back end that's going to make it very difficult for them to ever be an eSport or a major player. For a short time there, it was. Oh, but unless a miracle happens, this game probably ain't going to be out for maybe another year or so. I guess it'll be a good run, but don't count on it being around for the long haul. Call of Duty's probably going to win again, unfortunately. Take care, guys.